What is going on YouTube? Modsville USA here. As you can see, I got this uh, little sweetheart, little PS1 that I'm about to work on. Got powered on. And would you look at that? That doesn't look right. Uh, so that's supposed to be the home screen there. And here's the boot logo. It's not looking right. That's what we got. Uh, so we're gonna crack this guy open. I'm gonna show you how to fix it. Relatively simple. Got a buzzing drive in there, so I'm gonna have to figure that out too. But for now, let me show you how to fix glitchy video slash no audio issues. Okay, we've taken it apart to the board. And here's the issue. One, two, three, four, five, six. These six capacitors here have gone bad. They need to be replaced. And replacing these six caps should fix our video and audio problems. I've done about, I don't know, maybe 10 of these. And it has solved the issue 10 out of 10 times. So... I've got this guy from Amazon, just an assorted aluminum capacitor set as well as this guy. <clears throat> this is an electrolytic capacitor set. So for the uh, all the ones that are uh, same voltage or higher voltage that are a similar size, we're going to be using the proper SMD ones. And But these tens here... Uh, the tens that I have in this kit are, uh, let's see, f 50 volt. And uh, going way over voltage, that's not a problem. Uh, as long as you have the same or more is fine. It's The only issue is uh, the tens, the 50 volt 10 UFs I have are much bigger than these tens. I don't know the voltage on these, but it's much lower. And it's possible to solder them in there, but it's honestly a pain in the ass. So I'm just going to wiggle these boys off. So we're going to start with 220. I'm not working off a cap map, so I'm just going to do... I'm going to replace them uh, as I go. So I'm pulling off just the 220s now. And I'm going to replace them. So what I did there, I just kind of gripped it with my flush cuts rocked it back and forth coming at it horizontally as to not rip the pads there add a little bit of flux removing the old legs Okay. I won't come in with some rubbing alcohol. And hopefully you can see that. You can definitely see some leaky juices all over the board. So we're going to get rid of that. We don't want that there. Nice and clean. Okay, 220s are sorted out. Let's replace the 100.
Okay, three down and three to go. So let's remove the tens here. Okay, so I'm using these electrolytic caps for the tens, just because the tens that I have, these SMD boys are. Um, let's see, where are they? At row three, they're way too, way too chubby to fit on properly. So I'm gonna trim these legs down. Very nice. And the white strips negative. And we line up the white strip with the uh, the flatter end of that white shape here. So you see this white shape. One end is curved, one end is flat. So the flatter, non-rounded end is where we line up the negative, which is the side with the strip. So I'm going to pre-tin these. We want a nice solid joint for the electrolytic caps. Okay. Need to bend that down. Really got to minimize the amount of electrolytic caps we use because the clearance isn't so great so we really gotta pick and choose our battles here <clears throat> okay, that should be enough clearance. So I want to hit this with some IPA. I'm gonna take my soft bristle brush, get in here, get off as much of that flux as we can. All right, I want to head on over to the CRT and test it out. Okay, so we got those cap swap, we got it all plugged in, we'll power it on, and, uh, and I'm pretty confident we're gonna hear some audio and see some video. Let's turn it on. Oh, hear audio. And I see video. There you go. Okay, uh, so the loud buzz was surprisingly easy to fix. I thought it was a motor thing, but no, it's the gears that bring the laser up and down the track. So uh, this little plastic piece had come out of the grooves of this piece. Um, therefore, these guys would have just been spinning uh, like crazy and not grasping onto this guy to move the laser up and down the track. So that's why it wasn't spinning because it wasn't returning to the position that it needed to be in. So yeah, very simple. This piece, two screws, pull that off and then just go ahead, pull this cog out, get your tweezers, just pull up, try to line it all up. 
there's real no there's no uh science to it you just remove the cogs make sure you remember where they are you can clean them up if you'd like and add some uh, new lithium grease i'm currently waiting on my grease um this seems to be running smoothly I'll get that little fuzz out of there and yeah it's pretty simple put it back together no more loud buzz so anyway leave a like um and if you've got other issues on your ps1 you want to know a fix for it i come up upon lots of broken ones of these all the time and i fix them up uh i mod them and then i flip them so i'm bound to run into all sorts of issues um as i already have so yeah let me know in the comments below um if there's a certain fix you're looking for a guide on anyway sign it out bye